Pachero's group housing, it's affordable, and in the most expensive neighborhoods of Los Angeles. It's um, basically a thousand dollars a month and you can live anywhere. The idea is you could spend the night here, you can go downtown, you can go to Venice at the whim or in advance if there's space. You can also go $50 a night or $280 a week. It's a community with multiple locations throughout Los Angeles. We've hosted over 75,000 people at this point uh, through all different countries of the world. And you can go all around the LA and you can have a, a place to, to sleep. That's the, the good part. When I came to Los Angeles, I was looking for places to stay. I stumbled into this location and I was like, all right, this is super cool. In 2012, I needed a place to live and I wanted to live at Hollywood and Vine. And that is a very expensive place to live. So I thought if I could divvy my rent up by one tenth and include all the utilities, get food in the fridge, toiletries in the shower, all the maintenance and housekeeping was done, then I could afford the rent. I would recommend it for people who are trying to take the step to move to LA but are really scared because of the financial aspect of it. A pod has a personal television with Roku, Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, we've got subscriptions for you, Nightlight, um, outlets with USBs in it, and little lockers so you can put your valuables in there. Podshare works similar to companies that do like month-to-month -month office space or gym memberships that are month-to-month -month as well. Same thing. Um, so you can pay on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Good thing about the, the Podshare is that you can go through here in Los Feliz and then tomorrow you can be at DTLA which is at the District of Art and then you can go to Venice, you can stay a night there because you have this, this kind of flexibility. Pacha is a hybrid, so you could do a short term and afford travel or you could do a long term and afford housing. And what's great about it being open is that you have this community environment and so I think it establishes a layer of trust with everyone around you. It's very tribal, communal, and then you go to the next pod share, which is also probably around one to two thousand square feet. You can sit at the table on mornings and talk with people all around the world, the world. And this is the good part, this kind of interaction, you know. Everything's shared in community style living and working. It's really affordable. Podshare is great for me because it allows me to bounce around and I don't have to think about all those little things of having my own place. It's a safe place to live, work, and you don't really have to think about all the little tedious things and having your own place. I got a message yesterday that was like, hey, I really appreciate Prodshare because when I came to LA, I didn't know anybody, and it was my home, and it was a place for me to get an apartment. So many people meet roommates here, and then they go find like a traditional apartment, and that's really great that we could be like that bridge housing, that, that middle ground that no one's really tapping into. If you are open-minded, it's a good place to be. You can afford $50 a night, 280 a week or 1000 a month and you show up. You just have to have a credit card on file for incidentals and obviously an ID so we know who you are. You sign the terms of use and you either you know, book on the website at potshare.com or there's a couple of third-party sites that you can book on. There's just like such a diverse group of people. LA can seem like a big move, but thanks to Potshare, it doesn't have to be a really big move.